What's the challenge in preparing for the Saints when uh, you're not maybe sure exactly which quarterback? Do you prepare for both Simeon and uh, uh, Taysom Hill? And, and does knowing Trevor at all from last year help? Well, I mean, I think we have familiarity with, with Trevor, obviously. Um, you know, he did a, did a great job when he was here for us and the role that he had. Um, you know, I think it always is a challenge every week to, to prepare for, for the next opponents, certainly one that we don't have a ton of familiarity with. Um, <clears throat> we'll have to be prepared for, for Taysom Hill, um, for Trevor. You know, obviously they've, uh, you know, they really got into a rhythm. They, they put uh, Taysom in there the, the other day, um, hit some chunk plays, and then, then went back to Trevor and, you know, really got moving there um, in the second half. Mike, that Saints defense, what, what challenges do they present uh, for you guys? Well, I think they just have really good, you know, players. Um, I think they're sound. I think, you know, the scheme is, is obviously good. But they, you know, they, they're long on the edges. You know, Davenport, you know, Jordan, stout and explosive inside. I think their backers are active. I think DeMar I've always had a ton of respect for Demario Davis um, and, and what he's able to do in all, <clears throat> you know, really in, in the run game, you know, his ability to cover and, and also – uh, he's a really good blitzer. You know, does does a nice job with them. Um, you know, Quan, and then obviously, you know, Werner uh, rotating in there, getting some secondary guys. You know, with Roby, obviously Lattimore, Jenkins, Williams. They they have really good players in all three levels of their defense, and um, the, the the rush you know helps the coverage. The coverage, you know, they play different coverages. They play multiple coverages, and then obviously that'll help out the rush. <clears throat> With the way, uh, my brain. I'm asking this question for Terry, so I had to shift gears. Sorry. Uh, do you need to make sure you stay out of uh, obvious passing downs against this defense? I mean, they've been so good against the run. Uh, yep. Yep. There. You're doing a great job for Terry, just, just like he would say. It. Uh, you nailed the impersonation. Um, that that would be the goal um, all the time. No, no matter who we were playing, just to stay balanced and stay ahead of the chains and being good on first down, um, you know those are those are tough situations playing the game and and second along and then third and long. You just you know some of these guys in this league, it's hard to protect them, um, you know, and you, you just run out of you run out of plays and, and time to to get them off. So the more that we can stay you know efficient, you know whether whether we throw it or whether we run it. Um, but that would be a huge key every week uh, is just being efficient on, on early downs. We've talked about resiliency throughout your time. It seems like you guys are maybe at your peak of that now. Just how valuable is that to have as a hallmark quality? I mean, I think just having, you know, in life, you know what I mean? Life is, you know, things always come up. Um, everybody deals with, with things and, what what is a struggle to one person is, you know, maybe not so much for the next person, but everybody's dealing with something, um, and I think that that's a good lesson in life. It carries over to the football field that things aren't always going to be great. They're going to be mistakes. Uh, you're going to have some adversity along the way, and hopefully that uh, with, with a team and a group and, and what we believe in and what we preach and what we practice, you know, you can you can carry that through. Uh, that there's not a panic level. Um, you know, we had you know, basically four uh, double-digit drives against the Rams defensively that ended in nine points. I think that that's a good example of, of that, of not panicking. And, you know, don't want to sit here and recap the Rams game, but I think going forward it's like, okay, we can settle down, not panic, play well in the red zone, get a turnover, get a fourth down stop, uh, whatever it may be. So, you know, we've had lots of situations here um, and we just we, they keep fighting and battling and finding a way. With your group, it seems like you know both sides of the ball. They understand that we may not have a good game, so we have to pick up. Where does that like? What, where is that rooted? Because that's it seems like that's kind well, of. I mean, I think I, I felt you know they, they they feed off each other. I think that they're they're close. I mean, you practice against each other uh, from the time that we come to training camp, and so uh, they're around each other a lot. Um, you know, some guys are going to be closer than others, but I, I don't ever hear any complaining as far as um, you know they got to do this, they have to do that. 
kind of just figure out what needs to be done in, in all three phases and, and go out and try to do it. Good to get the, I guess, the process going with Kristen return of practice. And how happy have you been with the guys who've kind of you've rotated a lot of different guys in there, how, how they've done as a group? To... Yeah, we'll see what Christian looks like this week. Um, this is a good thing to be able to get out on the practice field, do some stuff, get with, with coaches, uh, get around his teammates, you know, do individual drills and you know, evaluate him as the week goes along. Um, you know, and then guys have stepped up and improved and um, you know, done a nice job for us. So any, any, everybody that we can get back um, would be great. What kind of progress have you seen from, uh, from Dez uh, Fitzpatrick on the practice squad? Yeah, I, you know, there's <clears throat> you know, uh, some momentum there. Um, you know, last, um, I guess it wasn't the Rams week, it would have been the Colts week. He was show team player of the week on offense and uh, on special teams. And so that's a two for one special, and those are hard to come by. And I think that that's uh, something that we have to continue to, to um, to take advantage of and try to find roles for them uh, and have them keep working like like everybody else that's either on our roster or on our practice squad and that's you know that's our challenge do you feel like there's a need i mean you release reynolds is there a need to replace a wide receiver or, or are you more likely you think to, to fill that position with you know maybe a different spot well i mean i think when you practice late in the year you're always going to need you know legs you need linemen you know, guys are banged up, so um, you know I would imagine that you know we'll we'll have the legs that we need, and we'll see where we're at on the roster. How hard is it to find a, a quarterback at this time of the year, and what what do you know about Kevin Hogan? Well, I you know he's played in a lot of systems. You know, I think that that he'll be able to grasp what we're doing um, fairly quickly. You know, in case that his services were needed, and. Um, you know, I, it, you know, it's probably hard late in the year to try to find guys. He's played in this league and um, been in there meeting with Pat, and and so hopefully, you know, he'll have a grasp by the end of the week that if we need him, you know, he'll be he'll be available. Talk Sunday about being able to marry some of the coverages with the consistent pressure now, um, like like Kevin did, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Is is there danger? To the one time you don't get the, the pressure, get beat over the top. How, how do you measure that out? Yeah, I mean, there's danger. There's danger all around, you know. Uh, you know it's just being able to be calculated. <clears throat> I think understanding what's what's going on. Uh, you know, that play happened to be a quick game. Um, you know, quarterback pretty much had declared, but. You know, I think just some of those plays down the field, I guess, is what I was, you know, referencing that, you know, we just can't, um, you know, we all have to be smart, do our jobs, and then understand when, when you have the ability to go make a play, you know, go make one. Do you think those chances are, there are more frequent chances because the pressure's been as consistent? Well, yeah, that'll always be. I think that the pressure on the quarterback, the ability to affect the quarterback will always be um, something that will help you, you know, different than, you know, getting a guy in the pocket in the end zone and him, you know, throw, throwing it to us. At this point in the season, how impressed are you with the overall growth, the progress of this team, especially considering the adversity you've faced with injuries and, and setbacks? Well, I think the, the challenge now is to continue to improve without, you know, maybe the, some of the full speed stuff that we've had in the past uh, earlier in the season. And we talked about the details and being able to uh, and, and focus on those when you can't focus maybe on you know stuff that you're doing physically um, for guys that may not practice until Friday. You know we've had a, a few of those guys um, the last couple weeks, and so the challenge is to um, find a way to improve uh, without doing it physically. And so that that comes down to details. Um, impressed. I mean we're all we all have a job to do. So. You know, that that's that's my focus is making sure that I do my job and that that everybody else does as well. Is the coordination with a pass rush in the <clears> sense <throat> of if one guy wins and flushes the quarterback, you know, there's someone there where the quarterback is going, and how difficult is that to achieve? Well, I think that first starts with who the quarterback is, Luke, and and so some quarterbacks you may be a little less inclined to have coordination. And then other ones that we've played, 
uh, certainly that's at a, at a premium. And uh, every week is, is a new week. Um, Coach Williams, Coach Crow, obviously Shane, everybody involved, they come up with a plan, you know, and they try to, you know, teach it to the, to the pass rushers, whether it's a third down or two-minute situation, whatever it may be. Uh, and, and, then the, and then the guys have to go out and execute it. So I think the first part of your question is based on the quarterback. You know, and then obviously um, how they run it, you know, using the game example with Jeff, you know, the mistake that's commonly made is he, he rounds it off, uh, would, would have too much space in between him and the tackle as he came around. The tackle would then be able to give some ground to get a hand on him and run him by the quarterback. Jeff wrapped tight, tackle couldn't come back, make the pass off. So. You know, those are those are the struggles that we face offensively. You know, trying to to stop those games and, and when they're run properly, uh, correctly, with good players, it's it's sometimes can can be a challenge. You guys lead the, the league in the number of players who've played games uh, this year by by a decent margin. What's it say? I guess about either the scheme. You think we do or we do? Oh, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah. so yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's that say about, I guess, either the schemes or, or, and or the players that, you know, still able to have success with a number of different players rotating through here? Um, you know, a lot of it is about the guys that are on the practice squad understanding that when they come in each week that they, um, you know, should be expected to, to play in the game. Will they play in the game? I'm not sure. But if they come in with that mindset that I'm going to play, uh, then they prepare they understand, they stay engaged in the meetings. They may not get as many reps, and frankly, they may not get any at all. You know, And that's the challenge of, of being ready to go. They have to maybe get their reps on the show team and, and, and get their improvement that way. Um, you know, we, I feel like we try to coach the guys that, that come in as quickly as we can, extra meetings, um, you know, and then you know, find out what they know and what they're comfortable doing. I like how Deontay kind of attacked his job coming back in here last week, and did he potentially earn more opportunities about having success? Yeah, and we have to all, you know, do a, do a better job and, and, and continue drive so that we can complement our offense. But Deontay, you know, has been with us, is now with us again. You know, we'll see, you know, how many opportunities he gets, but I don't think he did anything to um, diminish – his role, you know, but hopefully we can, you know, get into some drives where some plays can complement each other against an excellent defense. Mike, what's the biggest challenge in replacing or surviving and prospering without, you know, your key player, Derek, in this case? Just got to play better and coach better and, you know, figure out a way to, to move the football, continue, uh, figure out a way to, to convert on third down, score touchdowns in the red zone. You know, block better. Do you think it matters as you move forward here for one guy in that backfield to emerge and get the bulk or more carries than the other two? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, you know, I, I don't know that yet. I don't, you know, I just I don't think the the body of work was enough. You know, we didn't we didn't I don't think we did enough offensively to really determine that. I'm not sure um, how that's going to play out. But even like philosophically, the idea of you know running backs getting in rhythm and you know one running back being well, able to. I mean the Saints run it really well, and they have Alvin Kamara and, and Mark Ingram. So um, th there, there's a lot of ways to do it. You know, we've done it um, differently. You know where we had one guy, obviously, who that guy was. But um, you know, we'll we'll kind of see here as we progress into the second week with with having. Um, you know, some new faces there. Is there anything particular you want to clean up about the run game this week, especially on those first and second down runs? Offensively? Yes. Yeah, just try to block better and try to, you know, everybody. You know, the, the message to them is when we don't block, whether that's as a receiver or tight end, running back or O-line in protection, you know, people have the, 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 the possibility of getting hurt. You know, I mean, it's, when you don't block well, um, somebody can get hurt in this league. You know, those, those the defenders are physical, they're powerful, they're, they're angry, 
And so we have to block better. I think starting there, um, yeah. and then trying to, trying to again get these running backs some speed behind the line. You know that was the challenge last week is getting here, and then they're ready to go. The guys that maybe are blocking for them aren't quite ready to go to to be able to to give them some full speed reps in practice. What went wrong with Josh? Um, I don't know if anything went wrong. I just you know, kind of just didn't work out, you know. And so we we have to uh, focus on the guys that are here, focus on the Saints, and um, keep working.